How could have I missed that? I could have sanded that down in about two minutes. I spent so much time on the bow, I forgot to check the stern. It's not noticeable until you paint it, then of course it just stands right out. Well, if anybody says anything, I'll just say, well, back in the 30s when they welded this thing together, they didn't have the invisible welding techniques that they have today. And that's the welding seam. Think they'll buy it? I was getting this thing turned around to, uh, I was going to snip the strings here that were holding this on, but I've since decided I'm going to leave it on because I don't know if I'm going to be clear coating the bottom of this hull or not. But anyway, when I was flipping this thing around, I guess this paintbrush it had been sitting over here and I knocked it on the floor and as I was picking it up I was reminded of three little paintbrushes that a guy gave to me many many years ago and the guy that gave them to me his name was Eric and uh, Eric spoke with uh, he spoke perfect English but he had a very noticeable accent and probably as uh, I had seen Eric I'm guessing a thousand times because he used to come into the Winnipeg bus depot where I worked and um, that's what I did by the way I started working at the Winnipeg bus depot in 1973 and uh, I was there for many many years and Eric was one of the people who came in quite regularly and like I said I probably saw Eric a thousand times over the years and he was considerably older than I was so what's that got to do with this well uh, Eric turns out um, may have actually seen the real Bismarck because he he was a kid in Germany he was a member of the Hitler Youth uh, he remembers hearing Adolf Hitler speak he remembers the excitement and optimism of the time I do recall him indicating clearly that they had no idea of uh, you know uh, what was really going on behind the scenes they, they thought it was a wonderful time optimism and it just uh, reeked in the air you might say um, yeah so uh, when I picked this up I was reminded of Eric and because he gave me those three little paintbrushes uh, yeah it's amazing how people can get so completely brainwashed that they you know even when they're given the facts they they uh, they still don't believe the truth but you know right now uh, today is Sunday and at this very moment there are people sitting in my wife's church nice nice people who are completely brainwashed and will refuse to see the facts you present them with truths and facts and they'll say things like well I know we can't understand it now but one day we will so anyway that's my sermon for this morning uh, I want to try this uh, clear coat on uh, on that uh, small hull uh, from Tony and uh, just see how it works. I don't know if I'm supposed to thin this out or not. It's, it almost looks pretty thin already. Uh, anyway, I'm going to just uh, test it out and, and see how it looks and uh, it could well be that I will be clear coating this entire hull and if that's the case then the best thing for me to do is, is to leave it mounted on this thing. Yeah, see how this goes here. So I won't be needing these. I was going to snip those strings, but I won't now. It's a little bit on the thick side, I would think. Now it could be that by thinning this out, I'm actually going to spoil it. Now I don't know if this is going to help or not, but I put a nail in here and I think maybe if I hang these down right in front of me, maybe, just maybe, I'll remember to put them on. I don't know if you noticed, but yesterday when I was doing the spraying, I forgot again, at least part way into it.
you probably could hear that it was sort of spitting. Well, not really spitting, but sort of sputtering. And uh, yeah, so I'm increasing the pressure here from 15 pounds that I had it at to 20. And that did seem to help a little bit. My main goal today is just to find out how well will this clear coat protect the paint that we put on the other day. In other words, will it make it a little bit more scratch proof? And also I'm doing the uh, hull deck because I want to see if possibly it will make the uh, panel line highlighting that we tried the other day and didn't seem to work too good. Maybe it'll work better now that it's clear coated. Yeah, just, just an experiment here. After I had dumped out the uh, what le was left in the reservoir here, I uh, saw that there was a little bit still in the bottom, so I thought, you know, I'm going to increase the pressure to 30 pounds. So I did. And I noticed when I was just sort of testing it out, uh, I didn't seem to be getting any uh, sputtering at all at 30 pounds. Now, it could be that that's the solution, or it could be uh, to thin the... Uh, clear coat down even more than I did. Um, it's, it's strange that the, uh, the other paint, it was working just fine at like 12, 15 pounds and now this one doesn't want to. But maybe it's the nature of clear coat. Also I'm wondering if maybe instead of using a, an acrylic, I used a lacquer clear coat. It might work better. Now I don't know how this is going to be yet. I'm going to let this dry really good or cure, whatever you want to call it, um, and then test it out. Uh, yeah, so uh, anybody that's uh, used a lot of airbrushes, I know one of you said something about you had five airbrushes, uh, so you're probably pretty well versed on what my problem is here. So uh, yeah, be glad to hear from you actually. I'll watch for the comments tomorrow morning. In the meantime, I think that's it for today. Thanks for watching and all being well. We'll see you tomorrow.